are you? Ah, this place is dark. I will open the curtain. Good, this is much better. However, did you notice something, my friends? When I opened the curtain, the sunlight passed through the glass window easily. And when the curtain was closed, the sunlight did not pass through it. I wonder why that happened. There are two types of objects. Objects that allow light to pass through easily are called transparent objects, such as the glass window. Transparent objects are objects that allow light to pass through easily. And there are other objects that do not allow light to pass through, and they are called opaque objects, such as this fabric that the curtain is made of. Opaque objects are objects that do not allow light to pass through. And now, my friends, we have these objects. A wooden door, a plastic cup, plastic wrap, and a box. We will shine a light through each object and determine whether each object is a transparent object or an opaque object. Let's begin with the wooden door. We will take a piece of it and shine a light through it. Do you notice anything, my friends? Great job! The wood does not allow light to pass through. So, the wood is an opaque object. But the plastic cup, if we took a piece of the same plastic that the cup was made of and shined a light through it, notice with me that the light easily passes through it. This proves that plastic is a transparent object. And the plastic wrap, if we took a piece of it and shined a light through it, what do you notice? Good job! Plastic wrap is a transparent object. It allows light to pass through easily. And finally, my friends, this box is made of cardboard. Notice when we take a piece of cardboard and shine a light through it, did the light pass through it? Good job! The light did not pass through it. So this means that the cardboard is an opaque object. Great work! So, my friends, glass, clear plastic, plastic wrap are all transparent objects that allow light to pass through easily. In addition to them, water and the air around us are also transparent. However, fabric, wood, and cardboard are all opaque objects. They do not allow light to pass through, and likewise steel and the human body. Hmm, the human body? Yes, my friends, the human body is opaque. When sunlight shines at our bodies, we find that the light does not pass through us. However, wait a minute, do you notice anything? What is this? This is called a shadow. When falls onto opaque objects, the light is blocked from a certain area on the ground. This is the shadow. The shadow is in the opposite position of the light, and notice that the shadow is very similar to the shape of the body. So, if light falls onto this butterfly, we will notice that there will be a shadow opposite of the light, and this shadow will look very similar to the butterfly. And likewise, this cup. When light falls onto it, a shadow very similar to the cup is formed. What about this shadow? What does it look like? Great job! It is the shadow of an apple. And this? Good job! It is the shadow of a car. Great work, my friends! Together, we learned about the meaning of transparent and opaque objects, and how to distinguish between transparent and opaque objects. We've also learned some examples of transparent and opaque objects as well. And finally, we've learned how shadows are made and the similarity between shadows and their objects.